So, Mr. Elmuteri, thank you for being uh, with us today. Uh, My pleasure. You are in, a, in, a, in an industry that is strategic, uh, the oil and energy industry. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you see, uh, you know, the, the key challenges today for, for, for you? Well, and I think it was very clear for everybody that, the, you know, the, the price, the market instability was, was the great challenge for the past two years. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody noticed the, the, the drop, the sharp drop uh, yes. on, on the crude price uh, from 2014 until now. And, to, and until now, it's not very stabilized, although, although it's, it's in, in around the 50s. But mm -hmm. this is really a big challenge for industry. Yes. And it's reflected on to uh, reviewing uh, many countries, many countries and mm -hmm. many companies reviewed yeah. their strategy, their, you know, moving forward and really impacted a lot of, uh, you know, companies, mm. yes. So what, what kind of impact has it had on uh, the Kuwait National Petroleum Company? Well, in, in, uh, in Kuwait National Petroleum Company, we are the downstream uh, arm of KBC, mm -hmm. uh, we get affected uh, by, you know, a direct hit of the petroleum products that mm -hmm. we are selling. Uh, when uh, crude price goes down, usually the petroleum product, refined product, is go down, but in a slower pace. Yes. And this is the time that we, we make money. Uh -huh. This time we've seen very sharp drip. Yes. And th this put a lot of pressure on the refinery margin. Uh -huh. And becoming very tough, very tight, and uh, really affect the company performance and profitability. And that's why we came up with many strategies. One of them I explained today was the COPY, which is a cost optimization mm -hmm. and profit improvement program. This is uh, putting a lot of effort in order to bring the profitability of the company back to a very acceptable level, yes. And you, you are at the bottom of it today? You, you have cut the maximum uh, cost you could have, or well, you still have a little bit of room for maneuver? Well, on the cost uh, reduction, I think we, we already uh, we, we, we said that we don't want to do any more mm -hmm. yeah. reduction. Uh, and the profit opportunities uh, is always there is, uh, you mm -hmm. know, opportunity mm -hmm. for generating uh, new ideas, mm -hmm. innovation. Yes. Uh, our employee is doing a great job by giving more ideas for uh, mm -hmm. to be very innovative. Uh, we are getting internal and external help on that and, uh, and also we've been doing a lot of uh, operational excellence to improve mm -hmm. the operation and uh, of, the, of the company. Yes. So Kuwait is also one of the countries that is uh, the highest consumer of energy per capita. Mm -hmm. So what have you done uh, to make sure that, you know, uh, uh, people either reduce their consumption or actually, uh, you know, yeah. move to something else? Yeah. Well, in Kuwait, of course, uh, we are very, uh, actually, our ranking is number seven, uh, which is uh, uh, power consumption bare capital. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, very high. But the main reason was the, the you know, the severe uh, environmental conditions, especially in summers. You know, you know that mm -hmm. uh, we consume 70 percent of, of power consumption, electricity yeah. into air conditioning. Also, you know, the population of Kuwait is growing. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why when, uh, you know, the government is reviewing the electricity subsidized policy, yeah. uh, there will be uh, very soon a shift into you know, the price. Yeah. Uh, the government will start into the, the industry and the governmental you know, uh, buildings. Mm -hmm. They will not go to public now, this will be later stage, but you, know, you can imagine that you know, uh, the power consumption uh, per watt is two fills, it's will gonna be five times, will be 10 wow. fills. Mm -hmm for uh, industry mm -hmm. and will be for the, the you know, g companies and government buildings will be 15 fills. So we can, you can mm -hmm. imagine the five and seven times increase. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you also, everybody noticed that uh, the, the petrol uh, subsidy price is, has been adjusted. Now we mm -hmm. got uh, an increase of gasoline price in Kuwait from 41 to uh, close to 63, depend on the on the type yeah, of the yeah, fuel. Yeah. Wow. Okay. This by that I think 
the behavior of of mm -hmm. uh, of consumers mm -hmm. have to be adjusted mm -hmm. yeah. uh, in order to cater with the new uh, mm -hmm. pricing uh, mechanism so you you know you, russia today is one of the, if not the leading uh, producer of what influence does russia has on the price of oil worldwide and of course I think it's very difficult to predict, you know, the fluctuation of prices because there are so many different factors, and of course, one of the big uh, factor is demand. So on the one hand, you see the demand growing. Uh, Russia is playing a role in this, or yeah. Yeah. well, if you notice the the on on the, on the demand side, mm -hmm. although uh, demand is increasing but uh, still there is a gap between the supply and demand. Uh -huh. And uh, one of the reasons that the sharp drop happens in, 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 uh, in 2014 yeah. was uh, mainly uh, due to uh, four reasons. First one is the, uh, the higher production of tight oil, mm -hmm. the increased production of Russia. Yes. There is no agreement uh, between you know, OPEC and non-OPEC and uh, the, the, that the idea at that time is, is to leave the, the market for, you know, it will balance it itself, but mm -hmm. this did not happen. And the fourth reason was the, the growth plan was not as bare, you know, expectation, mm -hmm. especially in China, yes. India, there was a projection of a growth. Uh, the growth was there, but not according to the, you know, the, the plan, which is, mm. So these four reasons really affected uh, you know, making more surplus and affecting mm -hmm. the price to go down. So as you remember, last year the G7 uh, issued a statement that they wanted to, in a way, get rid of all uh, petroleum-based uh, energy by the end of the century. How realistic is that and is a plan implemented? Well, well Dominic, you heard it uh, in, in many countries, many politicians, they are saying, will be less dependent on oil. Yeah. Uh, we are going for other, you know, sources, Energy. either either renewable or biofuel. But the fact remain that you know the the oil is there. Yes, it is. Uh, it's a cheaper price. Yes, it is a source of energy that you can get it very easily mm -hmm. with lower price. Mm -hmm. So uh, no matter what you know, uh, politicians say. say I think the the dependence on oil will continue, mm -hmm. and the, the one of the reason is is the price. And uh, and the world is not going to run out of oil tomorrow. Yes, yes, definitely. The projection is is is, is, is the oil will be available for many many years okay. to go, and uh, again, it's it's, it's cheap. Uh, of course, we have to think of uh, mm -hmm. environment. That's why renewable and, and many countries thinking of renewable. Yeah. One of them is Kuwait. Also, we are we are going for uh, the oil sector in Kuwait. We are going for solar. Yes, of course. Uh, KBC now is is studying will um, to implement the vision of the His uh, Excellency the Emir mm -hmm. of Kuwait to go for 15 percent of your consumption. Yes, renewable. So uh, we are going in, 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 in a project for uh, solar uh, energy uh, soon in Kuwait. Well, thank you very much for this great insight. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you My much. pleasure. Thank you.